Print and Cut is one of the highlights of a Silhouette machine's capabilities. With Print and Cut, you can print a design on your printer and your Silhouette will cut around the printed images using the designated cut lines. You can find out more about Print and Cut basics by watching our 4.1 how-to video called Print and Cut. This video will address some common issues that can happen when trying to perform a print and cut and how to resolve those issues. If you get a message that says registration failed, most of the time this is resolved by performing a manual registration. Click on the button for manual. Use the blue arrow buttons here in the send panel or on your machine itself to position the blade directly over the printed black square on your media that's loaded in the machine. Click register. That usually results in a successful reading and it will cut as usual. If it's being really stubborn, you might have to do this manual registration more than once. Here are some reasons this registration failure might happen, so you can avoid it in the future. Make sure you place your printed media on your mat exactly as you see on the virtual screen with the registration marks in the correct place. Verify your page size reflects the actual paper size you are using. Verify you've made the correct mat selection for the mat you are using. If you adjusted the length, thickness, or inset of the marks instead of using the default, this can contribute to a registration failure. Use the defaults instead. If your marks do not print clearly from your printer, this can cause registration failure. You may need to change your printer ink, set the printer to a higher quality print setting, or increase the thickness of the mark dimensions in the registration mark panel. Glossy or metallic paper might also have trouble reading the marks, so again, increase the thickness of the marks. Smudged registration marks can also cause a read failure. You may need to avoid using dark material colors that make the marks too hard to read. Keep your design or a bold pattern on your paper out of the crosshatch area as shown on the work page. Make sure there's enough light in your room for your machine to read the registration marks. Print at 100% size, not some other setting like borderless that can print your design slightly different from what you see on screen. Verify the page size and orientation of your Silhouette Studio document matches the page size and orientation of your print document as shown in your printer preferences settings. If you're using a machine model that gives you a choice between load cutting mat or load media, use load media only if you're feeding material directly into the cutter without a mat. Check under the blade carriage to make sure the optical scanner is not covered by packaging material or some kind of debris from previous cuts. Make sure your software and firmware are up to date. Now let's move on to misaligned cuts. If your registration marks appear to read correctly, but the cuts seem to be off from the image, check the following. Make sure nothing on your page was moved after printing and before cutting. Dark colors, especially green and blue tones, can cause the optical eye to misread the registration marks. So you could try printing the same design on white paper to see if that corrects the problem. Make sure no part of the image falls into the crosshatch areas. Make sure the registration marks print completely. For greater accuracy, reset the registration marks to their defaults or increase the length of the mark dimensions. Make sure your printer settings match your page settings, such as page size and orientation. You can go to your printer preferences to check these settings and also make sure it's set to print at 100% size. Calibration is an option, but is rarely necessary. It's usually one of the issues already addressed. This might seem like a long list, but often it's only one simple thing that causes a print and cut problem. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.